Hi, this is Kent from Origin Lab. In this video, we'll be reviewing the new script features for batch processing in Origin 2016. Here we have a sample set of data which has been imported into a workbook and fitted for a linear curve. Let's right click on our window and save this as an analysis template in our user file folder. Then let's close our data and create a new workbook. To implement our analysis template, go to File and Batch Processing. In the Batch Processing dialog box, let's make sure we have our analysis template selected. Now let's import some data. Set our dataset identifier to file name and the result sheet to results, the sheet we used to summarize our previous workbook. Uncheck Delete Intermediate Workbooks so we can see the workbooks for each set of data with corresponding analysis. Then, in the script box, let's type in the command wks run filter, which will apply the same column filter condition to new data after the import. Here we can see the results of our analysis for all three data files. In our next example, we have a worksheet of data with a significant amount of noise. In order to better understand what this data shows, let's create a dialog theme for the Peak Analyzer tool. In the Peak Analyzer window, you'll see a basic goal flowchart. Rather than our default of integrating peaks, let's change the goal to Fit Peaks. Press Next until we get to the Fit Peaks subwindow, and press Fit. Then let's go to Configure Graph and set our Create Report Graph from New Graph to None. To save our dialog theme, click on the arrow button at the top of the window and select Save As. Give your theme a name, and then, leaving our theme settings as default, click OK. Now click Cancel to close out of our peak fitting dialog box and let's select all of our data to run this analysis. Let's go to Analysis, Peaks and Baseline, and select Batch Peak Analysis Using Theme. Unless we have any other previous themes saved, a default should be the one we just created. Then change the result sheet from Baseline to Peak Properties. To add our script, let's go to the Script Before Each Process box and click on the Ellipses button to open it as a separate window. Here we can paste our script, which, in this case, is designed to skip data with a certain amount of noise based on its standard deviation. Let's click OK, and our Peak Analyzer will begin processing the data. The summary output sheet will list all rows of data which meet our current standard deviation criteria for noise. And these are just a couple of the ways that Origin 2016 can utilize scripts in batch processing. 